welcome to it. Today I'm bringing you yet another MacBook customization. Just before we get started, make sure that you go check out my MacBook Air unboxing. Just posted that as well as all my other MacBook customization videos because those also have great tips in there that I use in here, but I'm not going to like touch on them a lot. So just make sure that you've watched all of those. And if this video ends up helping you out in any way, please consider hitting the subscribe button or at least dropping a like. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into this. Today we're going to be talking about how to make widgets, where to get cute backgrounds, how to make a custom highlight color, how to customize the control center, how to download fonts for your sticky notes, dynamic desktop wallpapers, and changing the Safari background. So first, you obviously need to get the update, so if you haven't yet, I'm going to walk you through how to do it right now. If you already have, then skip to this point in the video to skip ahead over this. Basically, you just go into your system preferences or settings, and then you'll find the little software update. Click that and then that's what it's it's doing. And yep, there you go. All you do is just hit upgrade now. Easy as one, two, three, and it'll take a while. So yeah. All right, so the first tip that I am personally most excited about is our good friend, widgets. So with Mac OS Big Sur, you can actually get widgets and there's like a nice little widget gallery and I will just go ahead and show you all those. All right, so you will have to open up your little widget gallery and I do that by going up and clicking on the time and date. So you'll actually need to go to your app store and look up Widget Smith if you're wanting to do all the pretty ones, dash dot dash, I think like that. Uh -huh. But now we have to go to the actual app so now, once you have the apps downloaded, you will need to go to your Safari or Google and then go to Pinterest. And from here on, you're going to figure out what pictures you want to use for your, like, aesthetic, I guess. Um, so I always look up, like, Oho. So then you can just go ahead and find whatever you want, and I just pull it and drag it onto my desktop. Um, if you're interested in the same ones that I have on my laptop, you can just go ahead and find my Pinterest. I will link it below for you. And I have a board here of just all of my iOS 14 stuff, so very nice. You can find all the graphics that I've been using. Um, so I'm going to drag some of those over as well. So you do have to add these photos to your camera roll to be able to add them onto the like dot dot dash dot dash app. So you just do that. So you just do that by right clicking and then click share and then add to photos. So then it's there for you to use on your app. <laughs> so now we have some pictures. So now what we're going to do is go back and find our dash dot dash app and add widget, set image, and we're going to pick the iced coffee and save. And then close it up and let's see. You can go ahead and click edit widgets and go down to the dash dot dash and then click the little plus button there and you can add it on. So I think the cool thing about that app, dash dot dash, is that when you're looking at it, instead of saying widget smith under it, it has a little dash dot dash. So that is a really nice touch on their end. So that is basically how you do that and that's how you add like the aesthetic widgets. So, um, but if you're looking for like the more practical widgets, obviously like I have my screen time up there and then a calendar. As you can see, you could add a clock, you can add photos. <laughs> so yeah, you get the idea. It's kind of the same as iPhone, just a little different, but I think it's really fun. Okay, the next thing um, isn't really a tip, but I just know you guys are going to ask about my lock screen and my folder icons, so I just wanted to show you where those are from right now. Um, and those are actually on my website, juliakchris.com. I will have it linked below. Um, this is basically, you just go to the design freebies, and then it'll be under MacBook screensavers, and then under desktop icons. I will have the files for these little iced coffee ones and then my little background. I actually like designed that myself on Procreate so that's why it's on my website and yeah. All right, the next tip is about the highlight color, and you might be wondering what that is, um, and I'll just show you real quick. So it's kind of like whenever I need to highlight something or if something like automatically highlights, like right here, right there, you can see like the faint little yellow. Um, so that's because I changed that in settings. So you do that by going to your system preferences, then to general, and then you see like the highlight color right there. Um, so there's all the ones that are there for you by Apple, but you can actually click your own like tone that you want. So. You can make it like a neon green or like a blue. Um, so I'm going to pick a color that matches my little aesthetic that I have going on. So like a kind of like a lightish, whatever color this is, like that. Yeah. Okay. So now, like as you see, I'm clicking that and it highlights in like a maroon color. So very pretty. Love that. 
All right, next, number four, we're going to be talking about like the control center and all your little icons up here. Um, this is really nice to utilize. So you can like pick out which ones you want up there and which ones you don't. Um, so I think the Bluetooth one up here is really nice because whenever my AirPods are nearby, I've been struggling with them like connecting between my phone and my laptop on and off. So like whenever I'm like editing a video or something and it like switches to my phone, all I have to do is just click up here at the top and then click that and it automatically connects them instead of having me go all the way through my settings. So to do that, you go down to your system preferences and then you will go to dock and menu bar and then you have choice so you can like see all these you know so if I want Bluetooth in there obviously for you right now they're probably not checked so as it checks it shows up right there so that means it's gonna be up there um, so let's see if there's anything I don't have up there <laughs> yeah I have pretty much everything up there so as you can see there are so many different things that you can like customize within this obviously um, so yeah go ahead have some fun clicking through those pretty self-explanatory but yeah so the next one is I'm going to be showing you how to download your own font so you can do stuff like this over here like on my to-do list um, so that's obviously not a font that comes on the MacBook so you can download your own this is something that you could have done with any MacBook so if you don't have the update you're free to do this one um, so basically you just go to whatever web browser you're using and I just look up font because I always forget the name of it um, so then I go to the font very fun. <laughs> then you can go through and pick whatever font you want. I like to go look in the script folder because I'm a very big cursive girl, so let's just go ahead and, I don't know, that one's cute. I've had this one before. Um, so as you find one you like, you just click download, and then I like to open it, click it there, um, then you have to click it again, so you'll find a bunch of like files, and then you will click the one that says .ttf right there, and I double click it to open it, and then you'll find this little button that says install font, so you'll do that, and then it's gonna work on it, and then there you have it. So now, I always have to like remember what the name is, um, so you can go up here, highlight whatever words you have and you're sticking out, go to font, show fonts, and then you will find the font. So I need to look up, I need to find the hello, because that's what, okay, there it is. And then how cute is that? So that's how you do that, really simple. And that's really fun because you can customize that however you want because there are obviously endless selections and yeah. So the next one is this thing called Dynamic Desktops. These have also been around for a while now, but I just wanted to show you all how to do them. So basically what you do is you go to your system preferences and then you'll go to desktop and screensaver. Um, so then if you go to the ones that Apple already has for you, you can find all of them. So you can see like the different color shades. So that one kind of changes based on your location. But then if you go to light and dark ones, this one will change based on like what time of day it is. So right now it's daytime, so it's light. But then later on when the sun sets, it's going to turn to like the little darker half right there. So I think that's really cool. And then there's also this website, dynamic wallpaper. And then basically you can look through all of these. Um, they're kind of the same idea. Um, they change all, oh, those are so cool, oh, they have like some streets like that, so there's endless options and you can download those and use those, but yeah, really cool. <laughs> Lastly, this one is short and sweet, super cute. In last videos, I have showed you how to change the Google Chrome like background to make it all pretty, like um, this background right here. Um, right now, I haven't changed it yet. I just made it a color. But I just saw that you can actually do that on Safari now. So if you prefer Safari over Google, this is how you can do that. You go down and see these little customization things. And it looks like they have some that you could use um, or you could add your own picture. And I like to add my own and go to photos and then pick a picture so like, oh yeah, we could use one big thing of iced coffee. <laughs> uh, so basically, that's all that is. So I randomly come up with all these ideas in random times, so make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss whenever I come out with another video like this, because I might end up making a part two if I find more things to customize, so yeah, just make sure that you stick around. If you've made it this far, like this video, and then also comment what type of laptop you have. So right now, I obviously have the 2020 MacBook Air, so I want to know what ones that you have below, so comment that. But yeah, that is all that I have for you today. Again, thanks so much for watching and being here, and I hope to see you here again on my channel in my next video.